What's up everybody? This is Sunny Solanki and in this video I will guide you in creating production ready conversational AI using Python package Chainlit. Chainlit is designed to build chat GPT like applications faster and with fewer lines of code. Using Chainlit we will end up creating a chatbot with nearly 26 lines of code. For conversational purpose we will use open source LLM Llama 2 with 7 billion parameters. For accessing LLMs we won't use any online available REST APIs. But instead, we will run LLMs on our local machine using a tool named Ulama. For accessing LLM, we will use Ulama Python library, which is a wrapper around the tool. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to use LLMs on our local machine, we need to install Ulama. For that, go to Ulama website, ulama.com and click on the download button. And from the download page, install the Ulama version based on your operating system. So once you have installed Olama successfully by following these instructions, you can verify the installation by going to terminal and then executing command Olama. And if you see help page like this, then it confirms that Olama is successfully installed on your system. Once you have successfully verified the installation of Olama, next we need to download Llama2 model which we will use for conversational purpose. For that, go to terminal and execute command Olama pull Llama2. This command will download Llama2 model on your system. Now this can take some time depending on your internet speed because the file size is around 4 GB. Alright, so the download is completed. Now that we have installed Ulama and download Llama2 model, let me explain you the code of our chatbot. So the total code for the chatbot is kept in this file app.py. And it has nearly 27 lines of code and that's the total code of our chatbot. So first of all, I have imported Ulama which we will use to access our LLM and then I have imported Chainlit as CL. And then in the whole file, I have two functions. So the first function is on chat start and that function is decorated with a decorator on chat start from Chainlit. So what this function does, it simply sets the chat history. So initially, whenever a user session starts, this uh, particular user session variable chat history will be initialized and it will be initialized with the empty list. So initially there is no chat history. And that's why it's empty. Now over here, you can set uh, some system message as well. If you want your chatbot to behave in a particular way, then you can include some system message over here. Next, we have declared a function which is responsible for taking user query and generate a response. So this function's name is generate response and it's decorated with a decorator on message from chainlit. So each time there is a new message or new query from user from the prompt, then this function will be called. The input to the function is query and it's of type chainlit message object. So first of all, from user session, I am retrieving the existing chat history. So whatever chat history is present over there that we will retrieve first and then we will append the latest query to that chat history. As you can see query dot content has the text of our query. And then I have created a response message. So this message object will be used to send the response back to the UI. And then I have called chat function of Ulama module. Over there I have provided the name of the model which is Llama2. And messages is the total chat history plus the latest query. So the call to this function will generate the response. Now I have set this parameter stream to true. So the response of this function won't be the total message, but instead it will be a generator. And we can loop through this generator. And that's what I am doing over here. I'm looping through this generator and retrieving individual tokens each time. And I am appending that token to this variable complaint answer which I am maintaining and after retrieving token we are also streaming that token to UI so on this response message which we declared over here we can call this method stream token and provide it token so that the particular token will be displayed on UI and once the complete answer is generated we will append that answer to the, our chat history and then we append that uh, chat history to the user session. So we update our existing chat history with the complete chat history, which includes the response to this query as well. And then we call response.send, which informs that the total response is generated. So that's the code of our chatbot. And it's, as you can see, it's just 27 lines of code. 
So now that I have explained you the code of our chatbot, let me explain you two other files which are generated when you run this Chainly chatbot for the first time. And these two files can be used to change the default behavior and look of the chatbot. So the first file that will be generated is chainly.md. So this is a markdown file and this is the default content of this file. And it will be displayed when we start our chatbot for the first time. So I haven't modified this uh, file. But if you want to modify the look of the home page of your chatbot, then you can modify this file. Over here, you can include the markdown code, whatever you want to include on your home screen. Other than that, this file, another file which is generated. So there is a folder named .chainlit generated in the same directory where app.py is present. And inside of that, there is a file name config.toml. So this file has a list of variables which we can set to modify the look of our chatbot and many other things. So you can set environment variables for this uh, app from here. You can set session timeout. You can decide whether you want to use caching or not. What are the origins which can connect to this server? And whether you want to allow unsafe HTMLs or not, whether you want to allow latex, whether this is a multi-model chatbot. And what is the name of the chatbot so by default it's a chatbot you can include the description as well other than that you can also include a github link which will be displayed on the ui and you can include the custom css and javascript and fonts to modify the look of your chatbot and over below that there are some variables which you can modify to change the theme of your chatbot as well so this is the config.tml file is the overall configuration to modify the look and the few default behaviors of your chatbot. So now that I have explained you the code of our chatbot, let's interact with the chatbot. So before we start the server of our chatbot, first of all, we need to bring up the server of Ulama through which we will be access, able to access our uh, LLM. For that, go to terminal and execute this command ulama serve and this command will bring up the ulama server now if you are on linux operating system and you, you execute this command then you might see an error like this that this address is already in use the reason behind that is that uh, when you install ulama on linux operating system a system service is created which will be running behind the scene and that service will be running ulama server so on my system the service uh, ulama server is already running that's why I'm getting this error. So I do not need to start Ulama server. But if you are on Windows on Mac OS, then you will need to start Ulama server in order to access LLMs. So now that we have verified that Ulama server is up and running, next we can bring up our server by executing command chainlit run app.py, the Python file. And I am already in this directory chainlit tutorial where app.py is present. So as you can see, once I executed the command, it started the chatbot. So as you can see, this uh, home page is from that uh, chainlit.md file, the markdown file, which I explained, it's coming from there. And from here, we can ask a query to our chatbot. So let me ask a query that write a short paragraph introducing Elon Musk. And yeah, as you can see, it seems to have written a nice paragraph introducing Elon Musk. So let's go ahead and ask a follow up question. Can you please rephrase your previous response and let's see how it's doing. And yeah, it seems to have done good job at rephrasing our previous response. So let's ask uh, one more question where we ask it to write Python function to check for prime numbers. All right, so our chatbot can write Python function as well. Now, if you want to start a new chat and want to forget this history, then you can do that by clicking on this button, new chat. So that's our chatbot, which we created using Chainlit. And in upcoming videos, I will introduce more functionalities available from Chainlit. So if you have any doubts or any question, then please feel free to let me know in the comment section.